All right, good morning, my friend. Well, everybody's loving the John Wayne vlog. And since I said yesterday, I said, if I have one iota of problems with this car, I'm getting a rental car for the rest of the trip. And I blew out that tire. I'm getting a rental car today, so I'm gonna walk over, get a rental car jaw, I'll come back, get you, take you to Pollyanna's house, and then I'm headed out to the desert for a few days of desert vlogging. Days with Jordan the Lion, and saying goodbye to this guy begins now. So today our goal is we're gonna head out to Pioneer Town. I wanna show you one of my favorite, not only restaurants, but my favorite little ghost towns that still remains. Gene Autry used to film his TV show out here. You guys are gonna love this. So it looks like this is gonna be my rental car. Not bad. It's weird, it costs the same for an entire week as it does for like a five day rental, so we're just doing a, a whole week, you know? Okay, I guess we're not having this car. They were trying to upsell me, so didn't wanna fall for that, so they're gonna find me a different car. I guess that's the, even though you book it online, they still try that. And what's strange is that I was able to find that you can get a $10 a day or $11 a day insurance that covers up to $35,000 in damages, but they wouldn't let me book that online. So when I get here, they're trying to give me like $35 a day packages, telling me the lowest they can do is 16. So just beware, if you go through Enterprise, they're gonna try and do that apparently. They're gonna try and jerk you around. I just kept saying, nope, nope, I, this is what was online. This is what I'm paying for. Oh, they're excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang, jaw settled in, so let's head out to the desert. I can't wait. I, this is literally one of my favorite places in all of the world. I used to come out here just about every other month and hang out in Pioneer Town, Joshua Tree, just kind of work my way up and down 29 Palms. So today's going to be a blast. Now, if you've never been out to 29 Palms or up 29 Palms, this Area is quite an artistic area, and you can tell just the way they decorate the entryway into their church. A little bit of hubcap action there. Oh yeah, we have arrived! Well, unfortunately, one of the places that I wanted to show you guys today is closed. For some odd reason, they're only open Thursday through Sunday, and Mondays. So we'll have to come back and do this another time, but I'm gonna show you Pioneer Town anyway. This is the first time I've ever been out here where they weren't opened. I've been out here for concerts. They have concerts in the back. Um, I saw Billy Corgan and Dave Navarro perform in a group together called Spirit in the Sky. I saw uh, Eagles of Death Metal out here. And what they do, this is the, basically, the main and only eatery in Pioneer Town. And on the weekends, they have a bit of a stunt show that happens over here, so let me show you a little bit of that. Now, all of this is relatively new. Um, as long as I've been coming out here, this wasn't actually where this was happening. I'll show you where they used to have the stunt show, but now they've created this whole little village here, this whole little ghost town here that you can have a wedding or whatever, run it out for whatever you want. But where we're going is we're actually gonna go back here beyond Pappy and Harriet's. I'm gonna show you in the mid 40s, they created a ghost town out here specifically for filming Westerns. Roy Rogers filmed out here. The Cisco Kid was filmed out here. And there's a crazy little bowling alley that Gene Autry filmed every episode of his TV show in. And they actually hired the local kids to be pin setters. Well, here we are. The ghost town that is Pioneer Town. They have everything here from a jail to a saloon. Everything you'd need to create a believable Western. Let's go take a look. Now behind here is the Pioneer Town Motel. And I can't recommend this place enough. I've stayed here a couple of times. Very convenient if you're going to a concert at Pappy and Harriet's because you can just walk right through the parking lot and you're there in about 30 seconds. And like I said, I've stayed here before so I can highly recommend this place. All the rooms are very old rustic type John Wayne looking rooms. Here's the Jack Cass Saloon. You see they've got it blocked off for private. General store, you got your old fashioned water pump here. 
your old Kester's trading post here. Watch out. You know that old joke, the baby rattlers? Oh yeah, lots of them. You can see through the windows they've got some of those old bottles. There's the old general store. And you can see right over here, right next to the general store, is the Marshall. Oh, I love looking at Joshua trees. Oh, that's cool. It's on its own track. Now here's the old mercantile store. Look at the architecture to that. All the way up to the horns up there at the top, the antlers. Pretty cool. I think this one's only open on the weekends, if I remember right. Too bad, I would have loved to got some Pioneer Town postcards right there. There you can take a look inside at what they got. They got some clothing and all kinds of stuff. What's going on with this guy? No reason to not be cool. Magnetic Zen Garden. Well, there's the place. Oh, we found the Pioneer Town Land Office. <laughs> That's cool. The potter said into the clay, beware. And so it was where? Here in Pioneer Town, California. Take home a souvenir. <laughs> and this one's actually open today. Very modern. Look, we're not the only ones out here doing some photo shoots and stuff like that. Oh, very cool. Look at that. Soap goats. Oh, too bad we missed the goats. That would have been cool today. Check that out. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Looks like it would have went on a track at one point. Oh, very cool. The mining company. Now this is my favorite part, probably in all of Pioneer Town. This is the Pioneer Town Bowl. And this is where Gene Autry rolled the very first ball in 1949 when they opened it. And like I said, this is where they filmed his TV show. Now it's very rarely ever open. I think I've been here one time when it was open, but the bowling alley is unchanged. Oh, I'm sorry. He rolled the first ball here in 1947, not 49. I'm sorry. You can see right on that sign. Now, it's closed, but let's see if we can look in through here. I'm not kidding. It used to be old school. I mean, like pink and seafoam green and all that stuff, and it still is. You see that? Now, if I remember right, they only had a few lanes, but can you imagine? The late 40s Gene Autry filming a TV show here. And if you're a local kid getting invited to be the pin setter. So cool. And here's a little bit more inside the bowling alley from a, a window over. You can see hanging from above there's like different bowling team names. 
It's unfortunate. I, like I said, I never ever see it open. Now here they have like a little bit of a clipping in an article. So there you can see it looks like it's what, six or eight lanes? But that's what it looks like on the inside. What's a lot of fun is when Pappy and Harriet's is open at night and then you grab a drink and you just kind of go walking up through here at night. A lot of these buildings kind of get lit up at night. Now let's head over here and take a look at the town jail. There used to be somebody in here. Let's see if uh, everybody's been behaving or if we got an empty house. Oh, no, it's empty. There's the marshal. <laughs> I think this is for the photo op. Yeah, I think you can go in here and get your photo taken in jail. Some of you probably don't need one here. All right, let's move on. Oh, that's cool, huh? Perfect. Gunfighters for hire. I'll take down their name and number here just in case we need it in the future. 50 Cent Bale Ironworks. That's the hotel. Oh, it's closed today. Can you imagine eating a grizzly bear steak for $1.50? Not this day and age. Oh, there's the bank. And the barber. The bathhouse. Did you see there's like a, uh, a statue with a Grecian urn? <laughs> we pull him. I'm guessing that's the dentist. It's always tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, cool entryway, huh? <laughs> the town hall. The outhouse. <laughs> That's great. Oh, cool. Purple cactus. Are those meant to be purple or is it just diseased? Now granted, I haven't been to a ton of ghost towns in my life, but this has been my favorite that I've ever went to. I always love coming here. I love that old sign. So this is where that whole stunt show used to happen on the weekends. I was telling you about when we were over there looking at the, uh, the gunfight show. That all used to happen right over here. And I don't know if maybe that's why they still have these out. Maybe it follows into over here. But when I've been here before, I've always seen it happening up and down here. Now that's closed. Let's check out this hay barn. Wonder if there's anybody out there watching this right now going, I remember this from Cisco Kid. I remember this from the Gene Autry show. I remember uh, Roy Rogers out here. And people live here. I mean, just outside this little strip right here, there are people that have houses. And some of the houses, you'll see it'll have like a little thing that says private residence or something like that so that you don't go up there snooping around. But there's, uh, there's also some private residents here that have some really incredible decorations to their house. There you can see the Pioneer Town P. And I guarantee they use this as a horse trough or something. 
during the uh, the old movies. There you can see a lot of a lot of the signs are uh, are faded off. Even the red dog's closed. Now I think this is a private residence now, but you can see this used to be the Gazette. The Pioneer Town Gazette. Escape parking only. Very cool. Oh yeah, you can just tell this was just the perfect western town, wasn't it? So many options of different things to film or different settings to set up. This has been the Red Dog ever since I started coming out here in probably 2003, so always been that. You see the sign back here? Horses have right away. Now this is an operating church. This is actually, I mean it's not open today, but it does say right there Sunday service 10 a.m. So you can come out here and not miss your day at church. Looks very cool too, doesn't it? It's even got a big bell up there. If you look closely, you can see where somebody would be up there swinging it. Oh, this is cool. At night, that cactus lights up. I think this is somebody's private property now. But it still looks awesome. I think it looks great. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what's private property and what's not, you know? Look at all the stuff they have decorating there in the wheelbarrow. It's a little graveyard kind of thing. Wow, those are all peppers. Oh, that is cool. That, yeah, that, I think somebody lives there. That looks great. Look at all this stuff. All kinds of cool little decorations and things over here. It's like an old lunchbox, isn't it? old exercise bike. One of the last times I stayed out here, I actually stayed in an Airbnb house and they had like a uh, something like this where it was the old frame of a car rusted out and bullet holes and everything through it and they had planted things in there and had art in there of all kinds. If you look in there deep, you can see statues and stuff. Kind of looks like an old storefront. Then you've got this little boat here. And this looks like, this is the property I was telling you guys about earlier that had a bunch of cool stuff. This looks like a school classroom with desks and old typewriters and stuff on it. Isn't that cool? I love this person's property. Check that out. Roy Rogers Road, and then Main Street, but Main spelled like M-A-N-E, like horse main. That's interesting, that's like the a truck camper that somebody I think is living in. Then I'm assuming this is like a do not cross, because there's one down here as well, so I'm not going to. There's all kinds of fascinating art. Those are bowling balls right there. <laughs> all kinds of different things in there. This one you can't see into and it's too bad because what they did was they took like the whole 
outer shell of like part of the western town and then they set up a camper there and then this is like their living space they're just basically like that's their yard area creates their boundaries isn't that cool i know it's not the kind of living everybody would enjoy but it's definitely very unique i dig it i'm guessing these are now people's Private, yeah, I think these were all private residents. That's what that says, so. Hey, who can blame them? I would totally live in an old western town if I could for my house. Not bad at all. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And I'm not sure what this used to be. It's definitely not open. There's definitely nothing in there now. Maybe we can peek through the windows and get a look. What do you think? Let's take a look. Old school. Dead Joshua trees. And here you can see we're coming upon the OK Corral. Probably not the one that you're used to, but I kid you not, this is the Pioneer Town OK Corral. Let's see what's in here. There you can kind of see inside. There's some saddles and a few things like that, and then down right below us is a little painting on the floor. Pretty much it, almost. Few other things to show you. Tom Mix Road. Now one of the only things open and functioning today is this right here. Half of it is the sheriff's office, the Pioneer Town Sheriff, as you can see right here. And then the other half is the post office. That's right, Pioneer Town does have its own post office like any community would. See? Pioneer Town was founded in 1946 by a group of Hollywood personalities led by cowboy actors Dick Curtis and Russell Hayden as a permanent 1880s town for filming western buildings. Oh, filming western movies. On September 1st, 1946, Roy Rogers broke ground for this first buildings, assisted by the Sons of the Pioneers from whom the town takes its name. Over 200 movies and TV serials were filmed here, as were an unknown number of background shots for other productions. TV westerns including The Gene Autry Show, Cisco Kid, Annie Oakley, and The Adventures of Judge Roy Bean were filmed here. Pioneer Bowl, uh, Hayden Ranch and Main Street have been designated by the State Department of Parks and Recreations as historical resources. Today, Main Street still retains its Old West image. The Pioneer Town Post Office is said to be the most photographed post office in the entire United States. Interesting. The most photographed in the United States, really? Well, I guess we should go in and take a look at it, shouldn't we? There it is. The most photographed in the United States, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at all the old pictures up here. Annie Oakley. Oh, that one's the Pioneer Town Bowl right there. Very cool, Tom Mix. Yeah, when the first time I came out here, that's who they told me had filmed a lot out here was Tom Mix. Never seen a tree like this before. Wow, well we were just in the most photographed post office in the United States. Pretty crazy. 
Well, Lionhearts, it's unfortunate that Pappy and Harriet's wasn't open. I really wanted to show you that, and it won't be open while I'm out here, so we'll have to come back and do that some other time. But I wanted to thank everyone for watching, and come back and join me tomorrow. We're going to work our way a little bit further up 29 Palms. We're going to stop in Joshua Tree. We're going to have some fun there. Big vlog tomorrow, so come back and see me. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing Pioneer Town. And that's all from Pioneer Town out here. Have a great night, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye.